Hey guys, so the buy list is back, baby, for the reserve list. And yeah, it makes sense. Uh, the buy list on a lot of cards are going to always be lowest around end of December, January. The market is heating up. And these are real numbers. I paid 510, 510 plus like a Evolving Skies ETB for a Volcanic Island just today. Today, today. So I am respecting the new buy list prices and giving you store credit. Basically, Pokemon cards on top of that. So the Magic the Gathering buy list is hot, man. It is hot as I've ever seen it. The prices are going up on everything. The Black Lotus, actually, I'm break even now. I was under my Black Lotus for a long time. Now I'm break even, so I could sell my Black Lotus to Card Kingdom and for about what I paid for it, which is pretty good because I I, I was two thousand dollars under. The buy list, in my opinion, is liquidity. It is the definition of the stock market. I mean, it is the out. So when I think about a stock market like Fidelity, I think about, okay, I click a button, I sell. That's essentially, for purposes of um, buy listing, Card Kingdom's buy list. They are very solid. Uh, their numbers are always very good. Are their numbers always the highest? No. Sometimes other numbers are the highest. But from a research standpoint, even Bayou's two, 260. I thought Bayou's like under 1, 200. Last time I looked at it, it was under 200. And now it's 260. You might not think that makes a big difference, but it does. Because if you own 25 copies of each of these cards, then going up $50 times 200, 400 copies. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, it's a huge, huge deal. So anyway, back to my assessment. And kind of where I am with uh, the buy list. I'm, I'm interested. I am je definitely interested. I think uh, in terms of... You know, in terms of what's happening here. There's a renewed interest. At the convention I'm going, at the TCG Con convention in Houston. Their prizes are actually just reserve list cards. I thought that was pretty interesting. I haven't seen tournaments give out reserve list cards like dual lands and time walks for a while. And I looked at the list of vendors, and there's actually a bunch of magic vendors. So I will be able to sell my cards for a very good price, or at least get trade on. I mean, man, my binder, like my $100,000 binder, probably went up $20,000 in one day because of Card Kingdom's buy list changing. And like I said, the, the buy list to me is functionally the best way to look at card prices. Most card prices are ludicrous. Like, you know, people using market price and it doesn't make any sense. It's not real. People are using buy it now eBay prices. It's not real. The buy list is real. It's real cash. They will cash you out. Um, so anyway... Where I am with uh, the, the reserve list, man, it's it's hot, man. I'm buying. I'm buying because typically the, the pattern goes is we hit bottom. We're, we are not, we are no longer at bottom. You can take a look at these prices. Then you can take a look at the prices that I posted a, a month ago. And you will see that these prices are much, much greater Sarah's Sanctum was $150 just the other day. Now they bumped it up to $185. $35 might not seem a lot, but $35 on 150 is a lot of money. Uh, across, you know, obviously I own like 25 of these Sarah Sanctums, right? <laughs> it's a lot of money, guys. Like, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you, like, even, like, <laughs> it's back. It's back. So while you idiots were busy buying Return to Ravnica, I was picking up these cards for like dirt cheap, man. Dirt cheap. Uh, now again, I'm still picking them up right now because I think the bottom... I think the bottom is hit. I mean, you look at Jewel Lotus and you compare it to Power Artifact, I'd much rather have the Power Artifact because the price is not, is not going to get reprinted. It's on the reserve list, baby. 
we're good. Like, we're good. So again, one of the things that I really want to uh, make clear to you guys is always buy. Like, I mean, if you... You shouldn't invest in magic cards, but if you do invest in magic cards, why the hell would you invest in Ravnica Remastered Collector's Edition when you can get Power 9 for the same price of a case? The Power 9 will always be more valuable. Long term, short term, I don't care how many terms. And now it's, it's, it's again, look at the buy list. The buy list for Sealed has gone down. <laughs> During this exact period of time, and I'll show it to you. All, all this is on Card Kingdom, by the way. They don't block it. You don't need a secret account. You can look at it anytime you want. I look at it daily because I was very, very concerned that my cards were becoming worthless because every time I click on the refresh button, the underground C is like at 400, 420. You can look at the, I mean, it's a massive difference to be at 400 and 555. When you own like 40 copies of a card, right? My Mox Jet, which I bought and I was underwater, I'm actually profitable on it if I sell it to Card Kingdom today and they uh, respect the condition. Hell, you know, you saw my binder, you know what's in there. I don't hide stuff like you, like Rudy Chan does. You know, I showed you my trade binder, I showed you that I'm taking this binder. City of Traders, man, was $150 the other day. Now it's $230. Come on now. You know, I have so many copies of that card. Beautiful card, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful card. Guys, things are heating up. I'm going to go to the TCG Con. I'm hoping a vendor called 95 will be there. They have a very interesting buy. They were there the last time I went, like two years ago. Um, so I don't imagine, I imagine that they would be there now. I bet you the card price will be very high if that vendor is there. I bet you I will sell all my dual lands to that particular vendor. But let's hope that vendor's there. I, they're not on the list right now, but that can change. You know, I, I think. Anyway, my point is quite simple. These cards are going to the moon. I mean, it's not... Ravnica remastered, Shocklands going to the moon, like Rudy Chan wants you to believe. It's like the Mox Ruby, man. I have a Mox Ruby. I was underwater on these cards for a long time, and now I can sell them for a profit. To Card Kingdom. Of all people.